Uh, well, uh, thank, thank you so much, and uh, me too. I uh, like to uh, join Uncle uh, David uh, Wanden and Wesa Chow to uh, uh, acknowledge the traditional owners, owners of this land and pay my respect to the elders past, present, and emerging. Uh, thank you very much for invite, inviting me to join uh, this event. Uh, the Honorable Ross Spence, MP Minister for Multicultural Affairs, sends her best wish and sincere congratulations to the launch of Resilience Against Racism. Uh, I also would like to take this opportunity to uh, personally uh, commend Vesa and Christine and those others that involve, uh, you know, uh, but particularly for uh, their own extraordinary resilience and hard work to make this uh, project become a reality. Uh, though I wish um, the need uh, for this program did not exist uh, in the first place. Um, and there's no doubt that uh, it will prove to be deeply important uh, resource for many Victorian, especially during this uh, difficult time. I also uh, like to take this opportunity to acknowledge uh, my uh, good friend, uh, uh, Jay Young, uh, Director for Center for the, uh, for the Asian Australian uh, Leadership uh, Program, and to Vivian Nguyen, the Chairperson of the Victorian Multicultural uh, Commission, uh, once again, Christine Young, uh, Yaran Wang, and uh, James Lin, if you're in here, and to all your participants here. So in short, when I uh, saw the uh, script, uh, which start with the word, everyone deserve to belong. It gave me a lot of uh, reflections uh, where I also uh, come to this country uh, when I was uh, 16. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, with my family uh, from Cambodia, I think just like many of you who come and study here and uh, fell in love with this country and uh, call this place uh, home. Um, so when I saw this word, uh, while I was reading about the Resilient Against Racism uh, project, I couldn't help but reflect on my own uh, sense of belonging uh, here in Australia, uh, and also uh, later on serve um, as a councillor and former mayor, and now being a representative in this uh, wonderful multicultural state. Uh, perhaps I should also uh, say that I need to officially thanks to Jay Young for uh, give me a heads up, you know, I remember back in 2012, attend your, <laughs> your uh, program in how to run campaign and do it, uh, you know, successfully. So that's why I thought uh, it's an opportunity uh, for, uh, uh, for uh, this uh, program, Resilient uh, Against Racism, which uh, start today by uh, Wesa and team, will give a lot of uh, benefit and meaningful uh, engagement uh, and, uh, like Uncle David uh, just said uh, before, that together we can, uh, you know, we can uh, make it a meaningful uh, engagement. So um, uh, uh, I'm pleased that this program will be able to support those who need uh, it most uh, during this uh, uh, sort of difficult time. And in order to cope with any sort of incident of racism that uh, they may face, which uh, once again, I commend uh, Jay Young, you know, for your interview. And because we know for sure uh, that so many of uh, our, uh, you know, community from different background doesn't have the voice or they may not uh, be willing to speak up uh, in this difficult time. Uh, indeed, I'm confident that not only will this uh, program will be a powerful uh, source for support for Victorians during the uh, week and months uh, to come. I just uh, want uh, you all to know that the Andrews Labour uh, government is absolutely committed uh, to acting against racism, faith-based discriminations, and hate conduct in any form. Uh, we received report uh, of an increasing uh, incidence of race-based discrimination since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, unfortunately, the report show this uh, trend continue during the second wave uh, COVID-19 uh, case. Uh, but what we can uh, be clear that racism and uh, discrimination or any act with the intention of spreading fears or hate in our community uh, have no place in Victoria uh, whatsoever. I just would like to uh, move uh, forward because I know that there are uh, you know, other speakers and also other uh, participants. Um, that uh, in terms of the multicultural uh, community, um, 
uh, I, on behalf of the uh, Minister for Multicultural, I just would like to acknowledge the culturally diverse Victorian that have faced unique and disproportionate uh, challenge during this uh, pandemic. The uh, government, Andrew Labour government, uh, is all too aware uh, of this. And in May this year, we commit 11.3 million uh, in funding to support multicultural and multi-faith uh, family, as well as an additional 14.3 million uh, more recently to ensure culturally and linguistically diverse Victorian get the support that they need. Uh, and of course, when they need it. Uh, this include expand uh, health message and provision to ensure positive case and the close contact uh, care for uh, in a culturally appropriate uh, way. And I know that uh, the uh, chair, person of Victorian Multicultural Commission, uh, WIF, has been working very, very hard on this, uh, on this front. And 5.5 million uh, to continue to expand the translation and the uh, distributions of uh, uh, vital health advice uh, with focus on supporting uh, young people in our community. So uh, th these are very important uh, resources uh, for um, our community. There are other uh, supporting uh, to acknowledge the difficulties in our community. And I imagine that many of uh, you in this, uh, in this webinar and indeed are individuals who are deserve sort of uh, such recognition and even more recognition in terms of fighting against uh, racism or to raise awareness in our community. So uh, to that end, uh, Vesa, I just, uh, on behalf of the uh, Andrews Labour government and on behalf of the Minister for Multicultural Affairs, uh, uh, Ross Spence, I thank you uh, to all of you that those had gone and above and beyond uh, supporting uh, their community during this uh, uh, challenging uh, period. A huge congratulations once again on getting this uh, critical program off the ground. And I just would like to uh, close with that. Thank you for having me once again. Thank you very much, Main Tech. And thank you so much for coming here to uh, speak to us, even though I know you've got, you have to rush off to your uh, next appointment. So thank you so much. Thank you. You're more than welcome to stay as well, but I know you, you have to go. <laughs> thank so you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you.